what it is, YouTube. Today, I got a, a video, I can't believe it's taken me this long to uh, know how to do this little technique. It's called clutchless upshifting. With clutchless upshifting, all you have to do, it, it's so damn easy. Like my whole life, I, I always, it was, it was always like a mystery. You know, my dad was like, oh, I'm my, you know, my cousin Raleigh, he knew how to shift his muscle car, or whatever, without using the clutch and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, wow, that can must only be able to be done by wizards, by wizards of the wrench. Like, how could somebody be that skilled and know how to clutchless upshift? That's amazing. So to me, it was always like this kind of almost taboo thing that it can't be done. It just can't be done. You have to really know what you're doing until I really thought about it. And then, uh, hi. And then, um, it made sense. All you have to do to clutchless upshift is when, there, when there's the least amount of load on your transmission, bang it up a gear. That's all you gotta do. Clutchless downshifting is way more confusing to me though, and I don't know how to do that, so I'm not even gonna talk about that, but here we go. Back into first. Okay, watch, clutchless upshifting. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Real simple. What happens is, when you're accelerating, you got a lot of load on the bike. So the way to clutchless upshift, at least the way I do it, is when you cut the throttle, the exact second you cut the throttle, normally you grab the clutch and kick it up a gear, you know? When you cut the throttle, don't grab the clutch, just bang it up a gear real quick, because at that moment, the bike has the least amount of, of load. It's not, it's not being pushed forward by the engine as hard, you know what I mean? Pretty much not at all. So that's how you clutch this upshift. How simple, I mean, I've been riding for damn near 30 years, and I've always been chicken shit to try that. And now I know how to do it. Now I don't even use my clutch at all when I upshift anymore. It's just, I just don't, you know? Yeah, she'll still do 80 to 102.8 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's that. Clutchless upshifting is, it's nothing. There, there's nothing to it, man. I, I, I don't know, no, okay, this is an in, uh, indirect drive transmission, it's an import. Import bikes have indir indirect style transmissions. Uh, Harleys have direct drive style transmissions. So I don't know how, how good that's going to work on a Harley, however, I don't see it being any different, but I don't know. And it's weird that it's called a direct drive on a Harley because the power goes through so many different, it goes back and forth from shaft to shaft to the output shaft. With an indirect drive transmission, the power goes from the main shaft to the counter shaft out, out to, to the sprocket, you know? With Harley say it goes back and forth and, and it's called a direct drive. Shouldn't it be called an indirect drive? Isn't that backwards? I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, that's clutchless upshifting. And I don't, I can't think of an easier, <laughs> an easier way to explain it. It's just, it's so freaking easy. I've never realized that. I thought if I tried that and I screwed it up, my clutch was gonna shatter <laughs> or whatever. But I was just talking out my ass. Something else I need to show you guys too. Now when, when I was brought up as a little old Walter Black trying to figure out motorcycles and riding and all that exciting stuff. I was taught by my dad who started riding in the 50s and the 60s. So I was taught old school. I know old school rules and shit. Lots of them. Like one of them is you'll never meet an old dumb biker. It's, they don't exist. They don't. All right. That's just one rule. I, you know, that's just kind of stupid. But I'm about to show you guys another one. And this one, it still lives on, but this is also an old school thing. I'm just gonna pull over right here and show y'all what I mean. Look 
Okay, now watch. If you ever ride down the road or drive or whatever and you see a bike pull over. I gotta do something quick. When you see a bike pull over, but the helmet is sitting behind the bike. Allow me to give you an example of that. If you see that, you see the helmet behind the bike on the ground, stop and help the guy, he's in trouble. That means he's either out of gas or broken down or something, he's immobile. But that is the universal biker's sign for uh, help. You know, that means you're in distress. All right, clutchless upshift. So there's that. If you're poor and broke like me, I mean, look at my gloves. Dude, whoa. A good way to line your jacket to stay warm in cold weather is with newspaper. It works, trust me. So, so those are just my two little riding tidbits for the day. I think I'm done for this little video. I gotta head, I gotta head back home. See, I don't know how to clutch this downshift yet, though. That's something I gotta, I'm gonna, I'll do a little research on. But, um, yeah, that's it really, man. Just wanted to show you all that. Because like I said, I was raised on bikes old school. You know, I'm not, I'm not a new school guy. I didn't do the MSF course, you know. I learned trial by fire, man. And uh, I'm glad I did. Because I'm a dying breed. <laughs> a dying breed. So, thanks for watching. Remember, clutchless upshifts and stay safe out there. <laughs>